start um, files with templates. But um, in, in MuseScore, it's, it's somewhat valuable, but uh, I'm going to show you just a few tricks that I came up with for this. Um, so I'm going to create a four-part writing template. And so I have four, um, I have 16 measures here, so I created a score with 16 measures and a piano staff. I've already hidden the piano name by just simply going into the staff and then properties and getting rid of it. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to set these up in four measures each. And so we'll use the breaks. And so you just drag a break out into each one of these. Okay, okay, so I've got that, and then this last one is always kind of strange. So um, go, going into the edit general style, and uh, select page, and over here at this last system threshold, just turn that to zero, and it pops out. So everything looks pretty good there. Um, need to add some bar lines, so we'll add the double bars at the end of each one of the, oops, let's get that in there. Just a standard double bar will be fine. Actually, that's, yeah, um, at the very end, I'd prefer just a straight double bar, too. Okay, so now that this looks pretty good, um, I would like to create a library of labels for analysis, but I can't do that. Um, you can create the, the library, but there's no way to get anything into it really yet. Um, there, there's a couple of things going on, but it's, it's a little buggy. I'm told that maybe in version 2.0 this will work better. Um, you can put things into the library from other um, or into the palette from other palettes. Um, you know, if you, if you hold the mouse button down, you can make the palette editable, and then you would click on something and drag it from another palette. But you can't create something on the, on the page and drag it in there. Like, you know, say, I try, see, I try to get it in there, it won't go. So I was working with my uh, You can't do that. I thinking about it. I realized that something else I would like to put in there. And we'll go into four part, and we're going to add uh, my original template folder file. And I'm going to edit the text style. And what I'll do now is I need to go in and find lyrics, and it doesn't matter whether it's odd lines or not, but I need to change that to Sicilian numerals for this. Um, and we'll be using that as our font for, uh, let's see, there it is right there. And I want that to be about 18. I don't know. Okay. And odd lines is fine because I'm not going to have multiple lines. But anyway, so that's, that's pretty much the template part of it. Um, there's not much else that really to be done here. Um, I guess I would go ahead and put in um, go ahead and put in a time signature at the beginning of each one of these, but it's probably not necessary because you'll um, put you have to put one in anyway, and then you can put the keys in as you need to. Um, but the the important trick here is how to save it as a template, and that was kind of a, that's kind of an interesting one. It's, you can find this on the forum, but I'll just go ahead and show it to you anyway. So we'll save this as, um, and I want this to be four part. Uh, template. Okay, and so I'm just going to, now I can't save this right to the template folder um, directly. I have to do it kind of in a two-part thing. So I'm going to save it to the desktop. Okay, and so there we have it on the, it's on my desktop now. And then I have to go into my applications folder and find MuseScore. Now if you look at MuseScore, you'll notice that it's not a folder at all. However, if you right-click it, you can select Show Package Contents. And in the Contents, then we go into the Resources, and here you'll find the Templates folder. So it's kind of hidden there. Don't mess with this too much. If you mess around with uh, the, the package contents, you can really break the program. So don't get too carried away. But this part works just fine. You just click and drag it into the, into the Templates folder. There it is at the top. And, uh, and we'll close that up. And then when I go back into MuseScore and I select a new for, new file from template, there's my four-part template, and we'll continue. And then you can start to put in your key signatures and stuff, and we'll just say done, and there it is. And so, and it's an untitled folder. So now I have a template to work with.